Yes, let me start off by saying the Ahmadiyya Muslim community condemns the attack on Charlie Hebdo absolutely. We offer our condolences to the victims and those left bereaved. You know, Islam does not permit any person to take the law into, its, into his hand and uh, we condemn this heinous attack unequivocally. Are you worried about how this attack might be utilised by the far right? It's always concerning and it's a deep source of regret when continually violence and terrorist activities are associated with Islam despite the fact that it has nothing to do with its true teachings. Islam is a religion of peace and nothing else. Uh, there's been a number of high-profile attacks certainly over the last 12 months. Uh, have you seen uh, more of a negative stance towards Islamic communities? It, it's always difficult when these things are happening because it means the Muslim community continually has to come out and uh, condemn these issues which we do from day one and like I said Islam is religion of peace and Muslims like normal people you know they they want nothing else than peace in society now one of the uh, the, the people who've handed themselves in is someone in their teens I mean uh, is there a concern about how people of this age or any age are able to be radicalized in this way of course it's a concern I mean radicalization is on the rise and we've talked about this before as well that uh, there needs to be continual education. You need to get to the root causes why this is why this is happening. Look at issues like unemployment, education, and society needs to work for the good of all. Do you think enough's been done then? Well, more can always be done. You know, it's uh, it's an onus on society collectively, not just governments but all stakeholders. Media has a responsibility as well. You know, we, all of us have a responsibility to foster peace and create unity in society.